British Columbia is facing some extreme heat. Warnings have been issued for a number of regions. Environment Canada is forecasting a short-lived heat wave. Temperatures are expected to go past 30 degrees in a number of areas from Vancouver Island to the interior. The warnings will last until tomorrow and to help people stay safe, cities have opened cooling centers in the lower mainland and Fraser Valley. With me now is Dave Phillips, Environment Canada senior climatologist. Dave, good morning. Nice to see you. So where's all the hot air coming from? Well, Marcy, it's one of these features that's so common uh, last year, this year, this high pressure area, a ridge that's sort of parked over the Rockies, but really extending from parts of the United States right up to the Northwest Territories. And similarly, we have heat warnings out for Southern Alberta and also the Northwest Territories. But um, it, it, it is, uh, you know, it's not the first one. Um, we, they sort of took a little while to get going. Uh, people in British Columbia were complaining about how cool and wet it was right up to the middle of July. And then we saw the first one, a big one, long one, lasted about two weeks. We saw temperatures in the interior that got up to 40 plus. And uh, boy, they were, it's just, it was morning, noon and night. Uh, uh, a pretty difficult kind of situation, unhealthy. And we saw some, of course, unfortunately, some deaths from that early heat wave. And then it sort of went away. We got another little one uh, about the, uh, I think, about the first, second week of August. And now we see this one. This is short-lived, Marcia. It's not nearly as intensely torrid warm, but another one. Now, because it's the third one, well, people are used to it. It's, it's, they know what to do. They, they've got their air conditioner working or their fan. They've got linen on. and they, they know how to deal with it. But it's not probably going to be the last one. But it's another one. But short-lived, so it doesn't have really the health implications that that first one, long one, that went on for two weeks. Torrid. Love that word. So, Dave, there are <laughs> wildfires in B.C. Are there concerns that the high temperatures will impact the fire situation? You know, it's still a, a, a fire season. I mean, that clearly often, uh, Marcia, the worst part of the forest fire season in British Columbia is often in August. Um, and certainly, unlike last year, because uh, the heat wave last year was so early, we saw fires break out across all of the, the whole province. We've seen fires, but really the numbers, the area burn are much less this year. But we're not out of the woods, so to speak. Um, clearly, we could see more lightning strikes. Um, and so it, it bears watching. Um, and people are, uh, uh, you know, watching the weather. And, and especially if periods of long drought and, and heat carries on, then it makes the, the forest more tinder dry and, and more likely to, to break out. But this one, as I say, is going to be it's not as intensely warm. It's probably going to be over in a couple of days. Uh, so that's going to help. Um, I, I see a little bit of precipitation in the interior, but not very much. But Marcia, hey, this is not the end of, uh, of summer. We could still see some of that going on through the rest of uh, at late uh, August and into early, uh, early September. But, but certainly not nearly as... Uh, a difficult situation from a forest fire point of view as we saw last year and a couple of the other years in the in recent times. And, and I was going to ask you about how long these heat spells could last because some people, Dave, believe it or not, are already talking about fall. <laughs> <laughs> well, my gosh, I, I don't don't bring it on too early. Well, I know, I mean, right? Uh, although, Marcia, my favorite season is the fall. Uh, I just don't want you to bring up a winter. People think we go from <laughs> slush to, to sweat or, or sweat to slush in this in this country. No, no, no. We have spring and autumn, fall. These are gorgeous times of the year. But um, I think that our models seem to suggest, Marcia, that we don't, I don't think you should write the obituary on summer-like weather quite yet. I mean, the days are getting shorter. We're losing about two and a half minutes a day. So you kind of know that something is there. But we think that September will be warmer than normal. And I look at the map for the next month and a half, or, or uh, and it's just showing warm, warm, warm from coast to coast. So, hey, there's still, if you have your summer holidays yet to go, then you're not going to be left out in the cold, so to speak. This is the best thing I've heard all day. David Phillips, <laughs> thank you so much. Okay, Marcia, bye-bye.